Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In the last video, we saw how you can create an Angular project from scratch, use GitHub Actions and finally deploy it on Firebase. But a lot of you have asked, what if I want to deploy it on a custom domain? Because yes, when you deploy it with Firebase, it gives you a URL, but it's not really a user-friendly URL. It's not really a custom domain. What if you wanted your website to be abc.com or this is my cool website.com or anything like that. For my case, we have chosen a website, earthskillaway.com because we believe you're always earthskill away from anything you want to achieve in life. And uh, I will be deploying that dummy Angular project now into the custom domain. And in the next three minutes, you will learn the ins and outs of all of that. So let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, I went to the Firebase console, chose the project that I deployed my website on. As you can see, we already have a couple URLs, but I want to choose a custom domain here. Now, we need to enter here what your domain would be. And this assumes that you already have a custom domain bot using Squarespace, Google domains, you know, godaddy.com, anything, but you should have a domain already for yourself. This video is not teaching you how to create a domain. Now I entered my details and it gives me for a quick setup, I need to add a couple of DNS records into my URL, into my domain name service. So I'm logging in into my Squarespace account because that's where my domain is hosted. Over here, I will go to the DNS settings page and I'll just add a few DNS records. Now, Firebase being very helpful already provides me with everything that needs to be added. So it's giving me the records that needs to be added, what kind of type of record it is, what's the priority, what's the data, what's the host name. So I'm copying all of that. So in the host, I'm writing a skillaway.com and the value again, I'm putting in the IP address that Firebase gave to me. And now on to the second one, same thing. This one is a TXT type. All right, with all of that set up and now saving this record, we should expect our website to be visible. But wait, I clicked on verify and it says it can take 24 hours for the website to propagate, for the changes to propagate. So there's no other option. I really had to wait, close my laptop for now. And then I came back after 24 hours to test if it finally works or not. Now, even after 24 hours, I noticed that my website still wasn't working. So I went on Stack Overflow, my best friend, and I asked the question, why is Firebase not able to verify my domain? And then I came to know something about the at the rate sign. So whenever you add a DNS record, if it's your URL that you're adding the record for, you can just write at the rate. You don't really need to write a skillaway.com like I did in my case and your domain in your case. So let's go back to my DNS settings and now I will edit records and I'll just use at the rate when wherever there's the host text box. On doing that, unfortunately, again, I had to wait for 24 hours because anytime you make a change to your domain name system, domain name service, it takes up to 24 hours to propagate. So 24 hours wait later, it finally showed that it's connected and I just clicked on the URL and there you go. My website is finally live. This is so simple and so exciting that I'm looking forward to making next videos showing you how we'll actually build this website. All right, so thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, give a like below, maybe add a comment if you have a question or just want to appreciate or have feedback and share it with anyone who you think it would help. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.